Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. 59 degrees to start the day off at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury. 59 degrees here at the Weather Center as well. And then temperatures around the area ranging anywhere from the mid-50s to the upper 60s, depending on where you look. 54 degrees is the warm or the cool spot on the map with Boone up in the mountains, and then 68 degrees is the warm spot on the map over towards Stanley County there. So uh, we'll certainly continue to see temperatures rise a little bit today, but it should be a little bit more comfortable today than it has been lately. As we take a look at the overall picture, you see we've got this front that's kind of meandering around the area. It could pull in some uh, isolated showers for us as we go through the day, but very, very isolated showers, especially when you compare it to yesterday. Uh, not gonna see much in the way of rainfall today at all. Uh, severe weather, definitely not a concern. As we take a look at the Storms Prediction Center, you can see we've got uh, mainly a general thunderstorm risk for the, I'd say two thirds of the state from mainly I-95 going west. Uh, you've got a general thunderstorm risk in that lighter shade of green and then a marginal risk for severe weather in that darker shade of green for the uh, extreme eastern portions of the state, mainly out toward the Outer Banks. Uh, and of course the coast there. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't shift back our way. The next chance for rain for us is really gonna come once again from the Gulf Coast and we'll continue to keep an eye on that, but our best chances for rain really go come for us for Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening and then kind of into Thursday morning during the day. So if you've got any outdoor plans, I know school's coming to an end around the county. So any outdoor plans for today and tomorrow during at least the school hours, I think you're good to go. Uh, after school tomorrow, if you've got any plans for some uh, pool parties or end of year outdoor celebrations that might take place after school on Wednesday, uh, could be could be impacted with the rain. We'll, we'll continue to keep an eye on it and see, but certainly uh, the best chances for rain over the next few days come Wednesday afternoon and evening into Thursday morning. Uh, but we'll still have isolated chances really as we go through the uh, remainder of the work week. And as we get to the weekend, the payoff is there as we'll have some comfortable temperatures out there and sunny skies. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back and give you the pollen outlook and more. All that's coming up right after this. Weather impacts for today sponsored by Patterson Farm. The very, very days going on right now. You can go out and pick your own strawberries or you can buy pre-picked strawberries from the market or any of the satellite locations around the county that are selling uh, the pre-packaged strawberries as well. For more information, visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash very hyphen berry hyphen days and you can get all the details on everything taking place out at Patterson Farm right now during the very, very days. Weather impacts for today, patchy fog possible early this morning. Winds will be out of the west, southwest and around five to 10 miles an hour. Transitioning to the north by this afternoon and evening once that front makes its way through. We'll see mostly cloudy skies for most of the day with isolated rain chances throughout the day. The pollen outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine, straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are birch, hickory, and grass. And you can see we've got low levels of pollen today. And those pollen levels will gradually increase as we get toward the end of the week. The mowing forecast, yellow lights out there for each day, but again, it's for very isolated uh, shower activity. Today's probably a really good day to get it done. You should have very limited interruptions if your lawn's not too wet from all the rain we got yesterday. Uh, Wednesday, you can certainly get it done during the morning hours and maybe even the early afternoon hours before those rain chances really start to threaten anything. And then for Thursday, you may have to wait until later in the day to actually get to it. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. The mosquito forecast has high levels of activity 
through the middle of the week. And the forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. We'll see cloudy skies for much of the day today with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. The best chances really come for the afternoon hours. And I'd say probably even the late afternoon hours between four and 6 p.m. And those are even gonna be very isolated. High of only 70, low of 58. For Wednesday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies for most of the day with a high of 75. And then uh, some cloudy skies, or excuse me, some rain chances move in for Wednesday evening with a low of 60. For Thursday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies for the morning hours, high of 81 with an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms for late in the day on Thursday with a low of 65. And then for Friday, a 60% chance of rain for the morning hours, high of 78, with mostly clear skies by Friday, low of 59. And then for the weekend, we've got sunny skies, highs in the low to mid 80s, with lows in the upper 50s to low 60s. So a great weekend ahead for sure, heading into Memorial Day. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Tuesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.